to strive to be the voice of the voiceless, where individuals are important, to treat each person with dignity as one whom God loves, to believe that God's call is written in the signs of the time, to stand on the edge of tomorrow. To understand and embrace these words captures the story and living legacy of the Sisters of St. Agnes from their beginning in Barton, Wisconsin in 1858 through the present day. Father Casper Rarell founded the Congregation of Sisters of St. Agnes, often called CSA, to teach German immigrants who settled along the western shore of Lake Michigan. Under the leadership of Mother Agnes Hazett, the community moved to Fond du Lac in 1870. The young congregation flourished as more young women responded to God's call and entered the fledgling sisterhood. The sisters soon expanded their education ministry to Ohio, Kansas, Indiana, Pennsylvania, and beyond. In response to a persistent call from local leaders, CSA stood on the edge of tomorrow in 1896 when they opened St. Agnes Hospital in Fond du Lac, thus beginning a 121-year ministry in healthcare. 100 years later, in 1996, St. Agnes Hospital and Fond du Lac Regional Clinic became Agnesian Healthcare. The system grew to consist of hospitals and nursing care facilities throughout Fond du Lac, Dodge, and Green Lake counties. The congregation's involvement in healthcare expanded to include hospitals in Kansas and Monroe Clinic in Monroe, Wisconsin. In 2018, in response to a changing healthcare delivery system in Wisconsin, CSA transferred their beloved healthcare ministries to SSM Health Ministries of St. Louis. Because the congregation's original ministry was education of children, higher education was a natural extension of the mission of CSA. Marion College, now university, was founded in 1936 in response to the need to prepare the Sisters of St. Agnes as teachers. Begun in the aftermath of the Great Depression, there is no evidence the leadership of CSA had any hesitation or reservation in embarking on yet another tremendous endeavor. On the contrary, and in faith, they believed that with the help of the Holy Spirit, all difficulties could easily be overcome. Marion College opened in a wing of St. Agnes Convent on September 8, 1936. Members of CSA who had advanced degrees, plus two priests, one a biology professor from St. Norbert's College, served as the first faculty members. These faculty, along with the inaugural class of 21 full-time and 25 part-time students, all members of CSA, became the bedrock of the vibrant, student-centered Marion University that we know today. Marion University, like the Sisters of St. Agnes, has a history of striving to stand on the edge of tomorrow and responding to the signs of the times. Lay women were admitted as Marion began its second academic year. The campus expanded to its current sprawling location in the early 1960s, growing over the years to meet Marion's increasing needs. Leaders and faculty of St. Agnes School of Nursing espoused the need to transition from a three-year diploma program to a baccalaureate program at Marion College. The first cohort of 31 nursing students entered the hallowed halls of Marion in 1964 in pursuit of their life's dream. A few years later, in 1971, Marion officially became co-educational. Responsiveness to the signs of the times in higher education and to the changing needs of new generations of learners are hallmarks of Marion University. Undergraduate degree programs were added. Adult accelerated graduate and doctoral degree programs were inaugurated, as was online education. Opportunities evolved for students to participate in service learning, campus ministry, intercollegiate athletics, intramural sports, and a multitude of campus clubs and activities. While much has changed at Marion University since its founding in 1936, the clear sense of mission and dedication of faculty and staff reflect the love and steadfast commitment of the Congregation of Sisters of St. Agnes to Marion University and their other ministries within the church. 
Today, CSA is a vibrant community of sisters who serve with simplicity and hospitality throughout the United States and in Nicaragua. They participate in the mission of Christ by joyful service in the church, aware that they are among the needy and are enriched by those they serve. They minister to those whose faith life and human dignity is threatened. The sisters stand on the edge of tomorrow as they embrace with courage their call to articulate the identity of CSA today as it interweaves with the reality of the 21st century. Throughout the university's history, students have been at the heart of the Marian tradition. Faculty and staff are known for the personalized support they offer each student, helping them reach their academic aspirations and personal potential. The entire community is devoted to providing a quality education, diverse learning opportunities, and vibrant student life. Grounded in the Catholic tradition and welcoming of diverse faith backgrounds, Marian University engages students in the education of the whole person, embraces justice and compassion, and transforms lives for professional service and leadership in the global community. Each member of the Marian community shares with CSA a call to continue the mission of Christ at the university and within our world. Marian University is proud to be a part of the legacy of the Congregation of Sisters of St. Agnes. Together, as we respond to the needs of this generation of students and stand on the edge of tomorrow's learners, we strive to be the voice of the voiceless, where individuals are important, to treat each person with dignity as one whom God loves, to believe that God's call is written in the signs of the times, to stand on the edge of tomorrow, to understand and embrace these words.